rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Hi there, everyone, and welcome to Tech Cravers. It should come as no surprise to anyone that this is Valve's phenomenal masterpiece Half-Life 2. This is one of my absolute favorite games in the whole world and here I am playing it natively on my AYN Odium 2. In this video I'm gonna show you how to install it so you can play it too and this works on any Android device that you might have, it doesn't have to be the Odin 2. You can choose to play it with touchscreen controls if you're on a phone or you can play it with an external controller. But you can of course also play it with the built-in controllers like on this Odin 2. This method requires that you own the bought version of Half-Life 2, so if you haven't bought it yet, there really isn't any reason not to. I think I got the whole Half-Life library of games many years ago for like $9 or something, so just go ahead and buy it from Steam if you haven't already. I will link to the Steam link in the video description. But now, without any further delay, let's jump into it. Ok, so the first thing you need to do is to open up Steam on your PC and install Half-Life 2 on your computer. Then we need to locate the installation files for Half-Life 2. And the easiest way to do this is to simply right click on the Half-Life 2 title in your games list and click on properties in the menu. In the new window that pops up, click on installed files and then on the browse button. The folder that contains all your Half-Life 2 files will pop up in the background. Don't close this window as we will need it later. Now go ahead and click on the link in the video description titled Source Engine for Android. The first page will have you agree that you don't intend to sell the file or use it for commercial purposes. So agree to that and then click on the blue button to start the download. And once the download completes in just a few seconds, put the file named Source Engine something dot AP key on your desktop so it's easy to find. Then take out the SD card from your device and mount it on your computer. If your device doesn't have an SD card, you can connect it to your computer via USB instead. Create a new folder on your SD card that you will remember the location to, because you will need to find it on your device later in this process. I will create a new folder inside my emulation folder and here I will put all the files we need. Drag the Source Engine APK from your desktop and the two folders named Platform and HL2 from your installations folder to the folder you just created on the SD card. And this will take a while but once it's done you can take out the SD card from your computer and put it back into your device. Back on your device open up a file explorer of your choice, I like to use said archiver. From here we can move files back and forth between our device and the SD card. We can also install APKs that we have downloaded from somewhere else than the Google Play Store. So go ahead and locate the folder that you created on your SD card that I told you to remember the location to. Click on the Source Engine APK to start the installation. You might need to allow said archiver to install APKs if it doesn't work on your first try. And then it might say something that the APK you try to install might be unsafe. But this is normal and nothing to worry about. Click on more details and install anyway. Once the installation is complete, it's time to move the Half-Life 2 installation files to the correct place on your device. Make sure that you are on your device storage and not on your SD card. Then click on the plus icon in the bottom right corner and then click on the new folder icon. And this is important. Change the name of this new folder to SRCENG in all lowercase letters. So when you overview the folder structure on your device it should look something like this with the newly created folder somewhere near the bottom. And now we need to copy the installation files from our SD card to that newly created folder. So go inside the folder where you stored the installation files on your SD card. And this might look a bit different depending on which file explorer you use but if you use said archiver click on the multi select tool in the top and then click on the folders that you have here. You might only have the HL2 and the platform folders but if you have the steam underscore input folder select that as well. Click on the tick icon in the bottom corner and then hold on to one of the folders with your finger and select copy or cut. Head back to the SRCENG folder that we created before and now click on the paste icon in the bottom right corner. Said archiver will now start moving the files from your SD card to the correct folder on your device. If you chose to copy the files you can go back and delete the files from your SD card after this to free up some storage but if you chose to cut the files they will automatically be removed from your SD card once this is finished. And once complete back out to find the newly installed Source Engine app on your device. Click on it and without changing anything click on launch. Now by default it will be set to touchscreen controls but since we want to use the real controls click on options and then click the mouse tab. Make sure to enable the gamepad and then next to that tab go into the touch tab. 
Make sure to untick the box next to Draw Touch as this will remove the touch controls overlay from the screen. Click on Apply in the bottom corner and then OK. And now it's time to start the game. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to the one of the last remaining urban centers. Were you the only ones on that train? 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the city also probably provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to make you forget. City 17. It's safer here. And that's been it for my tutorial on how to get going with Half-Life 2 on your AYN Odin 2 or any other Android device as well. There are similar ways to play Half-Life, Counter-Strike and Portal as well, so let me know if you would like a video for those as well by commenting down below. If you liked this video or if it helped you out, please give it a like as it really helps me out. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, Tech Cravers out!